to another video. I'm Jackie Shea, just in case you're new here. And today I'm doing part two of the Wahoo Catch, Clean, and Cook videos. I'm separating my cooking videos from the catching and cleaning part because when I asked you guys a while ago, you most of you, I think, preferred that way of doing things. So I'm gonna do that for you today. The recipe I'm going to be making is grilled Wahoo with an avocado salsa. Mm. I'm so excited to eat this. And this is probably gonna be like the easiest recipe I've ever made. No, I've made some pretty easy things before, but this is gonna be so easy, so fast, and healthy. And that's my three favorite things, simple, fast, healthy. Ugh, people are texting me. I keep checking for the hummingbird. We um, put out a hummingbird feeder. I actually think we have two different ones, a male and a female. A little pair coming. I keep looking. Cause you know, you look and then it's like, they're not there, they're not there. And then all of a sudden when they're there, it's like so exciting. And they come like every day now, it's so cute. Today's April 14th, it is present day. I am going to upload this on the 16th, Thursday. So this is uh, current. I've got some videos coming out that are from the past. So I don't want you all to get confused if you're watching my newer videos after this one. The day that we caught this Wahoo was actually, it was back in March. Um, well, what I'm getting at is we have been on quarantine. Oh my God, since sometime in the beginning of March, I don't even know anymore. Since this quarantine coronavirus thing started, I've stayed and decided to stay in Venice in Louisiana instead of going back home to South Florida because Venice is very isolated anyway. It's a very small town, not a lot of people here. It's far away from crowds, from sit from the city. It's basically like normal life here. There's nothing, you know, much different down here except they did shut down the marina. They ended up shutting down um, the restaurants. It's only takeout now. That's the only weird thing. We don't really go to town much. We don't go grocery shopping as much staying safe and healthy here um, and staying sane for the most part. It is getting a little bit, like, I don't know, I'm getting a little bored sometimes. I've been doing way too much online shopping and that's pretty much my update. I hope I covered everything. I hope I answered any questions or if you got any more questions, leave them in the comments below. I just feel incredibly blessed to be able to fish and hunt and live off the land and have food without a grocery store. I think that's really, really cool for people like us. If, you, if you're watching, if you hunt and fish, because we are able to survive and I think it's pretty cool. So today, enough said about coronavirus. I want y'all to cook with me today at home because we're not going to restaurants and we're not going out to town. We're staying home and we're being healthy, we're being safe and we're cooking and it's gonna be delicious. I'm pretty, pretty positive about it because I love Wahoo and I love avocados. So let me show you what you need. For your Wahoo, you're gonna put um, avocado or, or any kind of oil, olive oil, avocado oil, whatever you want. I've got olive oil here, cumin, onion powder, paprika, some salt, some pepper, probably whatever else you wanna use, whatever your favorite seasonings are. Wahoo tastes very amazing on its own. Salt and pepper, that's all you need, especially fresh Wahoo. I prefer it completely raw, but I thought I'd do something a little different today and cook it. We're gonna start with seasoning our fish, and then you wanna chill it in the fridge afterwards for a good 20, 30 minutes, okay? So we're gonna chill it in the fridge, we're gonna preheat the grill, and then while you're chilling your fish, your seasoned fish, and your grill is preheating, you're gonna make the avocado salsa. And that's the easiest thing, it's only four ingredients. You can use one avocado, but I really, just in case, I've got two avocados here, just in case I want some more avocado. Red onion, about two limes, depending on how much you like. Some cilantro. I love cilantro, I love this combination of foods. You could probably make your avocado more smashed up if you like. But this recipe, since it's like a salsa, you're gonna just cube up your avocado. You're not gonna smash it. But you probably can if you want to, if you want it like that, you know? Um, it's very, it's very easy, easy recipe. So, 
I'm excited. All right, we're gonna start this. Let me get my fish out and let's season the fish. So how many, depending on how many people you're feeding, get that amount of fish. For this much fish, I'm gonna be doing this amount of ingredients, okay? So that's what I'm gonna be doing. No hummingbird, still no hummingbird. Okay, I turned the light on so you can see better. I'm pretty sure you can see. Let's cut this baby open. I love these vacuum sealed bags. If you're interested in getting a vacuum sealer, I have a discount code. All the information for that will be in the description box below. If you're interested, this is slippery. Probably going to need a fillet knife. Let me get a fillet knife. Okay, I got my Dexter, Dexter fillet knife, which I also have a discount code for also. And then one thing I wanted to point out is the Wahoo's meat goes in circular motions, in circular patterns like that, which I think is unique to the Wahoo. And then check out that skin. The Wahoo scales are so different than a lot of fish scales. They're like thin and long. I don't, I can't really show, they're so tiny. So when I'm cutting this, I wanna cut it, cut down and around under so I don't you know we don't want the skin so I got a little bit too close there gotta cut that skin and that okay nice clean chunk of wahoo my ends look a little bit darker they look a little freezer burnt you know not so pretty so I'm just gonna clean off those brown pieces their knife is so lovely okay so there's a piece there I think I want to cut this Long ways. Okay. Beautiful. So now I've got my four portions right here. And this is chicken food. I'm sure you're probably wondering, do chickens really eat fish? When I first heard someone say to feed your chickens fish, I was like, what? But I'm about to show you what it looks like. For chickens to eat fish. All oh, the other ones got out. Okay, so I just left that out there for them. As you can see, they uh, they love fish. So whenever we have some extra like fish that we don't really want, like the tail meat or like other pieces that we don't really prefer. We'll give it to the chickens. I don't like to give them bad fish. I like to give them, you know, still somewhat fresh fish that's still, you know, good. I don't want to give them bad food. Back to our regularly, regularly, regularly scheduled cooking video. Okay. All right, so I have my four um, little portion sizes. And I'm going to season this bag. I'm going to just fill it up with olive oil and whatever oil you like and all the seasonings you like. You know what, I'm gonna do some garlic powder. So, this is what it looks like in my bag right now. And I'm just gonna chunk these in here, chunk them in. And after, okay. And evenly covered. Can you tell I don't like bugs? Oh my god. Oh, that, he's dead. He's dead. Okay, so these look pretty even. Check it out. Check it out. Nothing like a good Ziploc. Unless you need a vacuum seal. Also, you know what? I gotta go outside again. Awesome. Bugs don't attack me. Oh, look. They're out here eating. Okay. Oh, where was I? into cubes. I really don't feel like I'm gonna need both of these limes. That's a lot of lime juice. I'm gonna start with one. It smells so good. Oh, it makes me want a margarita. Um, so there's that. This lighting is crap. Beautiful. Then I'm going to put it in the fridge and I'm gonna take the fish out and we're gonna put them up, put the fish on the grill and start 
start that. Oh, I'm grilling my fish. I'm going to check that in like two minutes. Um, it was a really hot grill. I don't know how many degrees or whatever, but it was on high and it was hot. One more minute and flip it over and then probably do another two to three minutes depending on how well done I want it. I'll show you what it looks like when I flip it right now. As you can see, I forgot to spray the grill with non-stick spray. It would have been really pretty though if you could see those little like grid lines on that first one I flipped. Oh, but maybe I'll just cover it up with some salsa. It'll be all good. It'll still look pretty. So I just flipped it. It looked perfect. I left it on for about two and a half minutes. And now I'm going to leave it on for like another minute and a half, two minutes. Um, it looked really good. It looked perfect. I'm so excited to eat it. I'm hungry. Ready. The salsa's ready. And like that's it. Okay guys, the hummingbird, <laughs> he just came for two seconds, I swear. I tried so hard to get him on the camera. That's gonna be my mission for the rest of the day. But anyway, these look delicious. They smell amazing. <laughs> hummingbird all right oh it's so pretty wait let me get a picture from my instagram okay we did it let's now let's try it oh am i i'm just i'm just drooling i swear to you okay, let's cut it open here oh my god it's perfectly done look at this yeah you can still see a little bit of translucent little pink meat in there that is perfect oh my gosh i couldn't have asked for a better better done fish and put some salsa on top mm. Mm. oh my god oh wow jesus is good it's a great summer dish because it's so refreshing mm. Mm. it's light it's not um, too heavy, you know, it's healthy. Wow, I can't believe I never made this before. <laughs> mm. Not only would this be good with Wahoo, be good with Cobia, um, Snapper. It's just, you know, a basic grilled fish with the avocado, you know, it's so good and refreshing. Snapper, did I say that already? <laughs> I can't think, this is so good. You can use any fish probably you like whatever you can find fresh at the store whatever you caught that day don't get so down during these times it's it's hard and everyone's in this together and we're gonna get through it and it's gonna be that much better when it's over just keep your head up stay positive eat good food so i'm gonna finish this it's delicious i really hope you guys get to try it let me know if you did in the comments below that's it for now i'm gonna get that hummingbird I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you're all staying safe and sane and staying inside and helping prevent spread of this virus. Give it a like if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already because I'd love to have you all here and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.